Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome to MF Corner. I'm Pavitra. With me is Ekta. And today we've decided to plan an entire show where we're going to focus on all of the queries that we've got from our viewers. And you know, this time it's very interesting because I was going through the entire lot and there are so many on the mid-cap space, on the small cap uh, space, on the micro-caps as well. And Ekta, it's completely understandable, right, considering what we've seen go down in the markets. Hi, Pavitra. Yes, absolutely. There is so much interest in the broader market. So let's kick off the show uh, this afternoon. We have with us Gaurav Gupta, who is the director at G-Cube Investments, to answer all of your mutual fund queries. Let's get to the first question. We have uh, Abhinav Kapoor, who writes to us from New Delhi. He asks if the rally in the small cap funds will continue and if he can invest some money in the space. He asks which funds would probably be suitable for him. Remember, the small caps have given returns of over 30% on a year-to-date basis. Gaurav, is it good for more? Hi, Prabhupada. Hi, Rikta. Uh, yeah, coming to, you know, the small cap space, uh, as you said rightly, that the one-year return is, you know, close to 30 35%. But there are three, four parameters still that, you know, make valuations attractive in the small cap space. If we look at the three-year, five-year, seven-year, ten-year rolling return, which is the weighted average, you know, uh, return of the portfolio. So the small cap funds have still delivered only 15% on a weighted average basis. Secondly, also if you, we are comparing the 2008 and 2018 highs that were witnessed in the small cap space, where the PEs have gone to 40 plus. Over here, it's still below that, you know, particular level. Also, uh, if we are looking at the small cap index, we see that, uh, you know, about 40% is uh, from uh, uh, manufacturing and uh, capex, which, are, you know, the two, two thrust areas uh, 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 currently in the space. So I feel there is still a lot of, you know, valuation gap, even though the earning, uh, earnings are coming good. So if you ask me on the small cap space, uh, my top picks would be Nippon small cap and uh, HDFC small cap. It would be advisable for investors to invest through the SIP route. All right, investing through the SIP route is... All right, uh, that is helpful, you know, investing through the SIP route at a time like this when uh, the index has already rallied so much, perhaps makes sense. Let's also get to our next query then. We have Sharon Collins who writes in to us and she has, um, she's actually writing from Mumbai and she's been investing 10,000 rupees in the Axis Blue Chip Mutual Fund and also 5,000 in the Mirai Asset Large Cap Fund. Now she says she wants to invest another 5,000 rupees monthly and ask for a suitable fund. She further asks if she should make any changes to her current holding as well. Uh, Gaurav, here is someone who has, you know, two holdings, both both in blue chip names, right? You have the Axis Blue Chip Fund as well as the Large Cap. Uh, normally, we would say that it's, it's better to look at one fund for Large Caps, one for maybe mid and small. How would you look at this? Would you suggest getting out of one of these and, uh, you know, changing the portfolio a little bit on that front? Yeah, I would definitely suggest Pavita to reject the portfolio. It's better that uh, she maybe, you know, stops the SIP in the Axis Blue Chip Fund. Because actually the Axis Blue Chip Fund, uh, the last one year, three years has been uh, considerably bad for the fund. It's been, uh, you know, ranked around 25, 26. That is coming in the fourth quartile in the large cap category. And also uh, due to the fact that there are uh, Mr. Janesh Gopani, who was, uh, you know, the chief investment officer there, he has also resigned from the company last month. So I think there are a lot of, you know, uh, changes that are happening, which has also, you know, maybe impacted the, you know, fund performance. So in that sense, uh, she can continue with the Mirai large cap and the uh, uh, 10,000 rupees plus uh, she has, some additional money, she can look at uh, maybe one mid cap and one, uh, you know, small cap fund in the portfolio. I would suggest on the mid, mid cap side, she could maybe consider the HDFC mid cap opportunities, which has been managed by Mr. Uh, Chirag Sitharwar and has given around a 20% return since the last 10 years. Even the SIP returns have been consistent. Even and even though it's the largest mid cap fund with a EUM of close to forty thousand crores, it's still doing exceedingly well. On the small cap space, uh, they can look at either SBI small cap or a Tata small cap. Uh, these two funds have done well, uh, even though uh, they've restricted inflows into lump sum investments, but they are still 
accepting SIB, uh, you know, investments into the funds. Okay, all right. Uh, so that's on Sharon Collins' query. But let's get to another one. We have Rahul Kanam who writes to us from Pune. He says several fund houses have launched new IT funds. And if it makes sense to look at this space now, he asks which fund should he probably invest in. Well, uh, Gaurav, on this front, what would you recommend? Because there has been some amount of uh, pullback which we've seen in IT stocks. Yeah, IT as a sector, uh, you'd be aware that uh, there was a, a big run up uh, during the COVID time and then there was a, a correction followed by a correction. So from a valuation uh, standpoint, I would say right now, the valuations are uh, reasonable at this point of time. They are not overvalued, but if you're comparing it uh, to the uh, Nifty, uh, it's trading almost at a 25 to 30% uh, premium to the Nifty valuation. And also uh, last week, I think uh, TCS and Infosys, the revenue guidance came, you know, uh, below below expected. I think it was around one percent compared to three and a half percent what was there earlier. Uh, but though IT as a sector would, uh, you know, uh, continue to con contribute to the India growth story, it would account for about ten percent of India's GDP by twenty twenty five, which is currently about seven point seven now. If uh, I would ask him to actually uh, review his overall investment portfolio, because I'm not sure what other funds he's holding. And if he's still uh, very keen on increasing his, uh, you know, exposure to IT, he can maybe look at the SBI Technology Opportunities Fund. Okay, that is on the IT funds. I get the curiosity, you know, in just the past couple of weeks, there have been, uh, I think, two or three new fund offers, which have all been on the Nifty IT uh, fund. And I think most of them are index funds as well. But moving on, our next query comes in from Shivali Kadam, who writes in from Chandigarh. She's 25 years old and says that she wants to begin her investment journey. She wants to invest around 10,000 rupees per month with a very long term view and asks which funds she can look at now. Uh, Gaurav, this is interesting because, you know, anyone who's getting into the markets for the first time is looking at a very long kind of horizon. It always gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you can really advise, right? So if you have to construct a portfolio for a 25-year-old who is looking at it for, you know, very long term, what are the four or five schemes that you would recommend? Yeah, I would definitely then, you know, consider more of mid and small cap. So, you know, coming to the four or five uh, schemes where Pavitra... Uh, I would say my top pick uh, fund would be, uh, you know, the Parak Parik Flexi Cap Fund because, uh, you know, that is having large cap, mid cap, small cap, it's having and it's having a little bit overseas exposure as well. It's given a return of about 18%. The fund has been around for the last 10 years and the fund management and everybody is all the same. And they are having only one fund in their stable compared to, you know, a lot of other mutual funds which are having, you know, three, four other different types of, you know, uh, funds. Second fund I would recommend would be a multi-cap fund like maybe an HDFC multi-cap. Uh, multi-cap as the name says, uh, the, the mandate is to have 25, uh, 25 in large, mid and small cap and the balance 25 can be, you know, shuffled around by the fund manager. So the HDFC multi-cap is only about two and a half years old, uh, though it's been managed by Mr. Gopal Agarwal who was earlier with you know Mirai and SBI and he's uh, uh, the fund has done you know very well consistently and uh, on the you know uh, maybe the third fund would be like uh, on the mid cap space so on the mid cap space maybe we can look at uh, something like a Kotak emerging equity fund so that is also uh, been around for a long time and given about 17 18 and has been by Mr. Pankaj Tebrewal, who's been around for a very long time. And the fourth fund in the small cap space could be like a Nippon small cap fund. So the Nippon small cap is uh, <clears throat> the largest, again, small cap fund with about a 30,000 crore plus corpus. And Mr. Samir Raj has been managing it since the last six, seven years. And that is, uh, if you are, we are looking at the return, it's uh, one of the highest in the category uh, in the across all funds giving almost a CAGR of close to 30% in the last 10 years. 
ओके ऑल राइट वेल गौरव लेट्स गेट टू अनदर क्वेरी दिस टाइम फ्रॉम अ लेडी एज वेल वी हैव श्वेता जैन हु राइज टू अस फ्रॉम इंदौर शी सेज हर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ऑफ अराउंड 5000 ईच इन द सुंदरम स्मॉल कैप फंड एंड द पीजीआईएम इंडिया स्मॉल कैप फंड्स हैव नॉट डन एज वेल एज एक्सपेक्टेड शी आस्क्स इफ शी शुड शिफ्ट और स्टे इन्वेस्टेड इन दीस फंड्स शी इज आस्किंग वेयर एल्स कैन शी डिप्लॉय हर मनी व्हेन इट कम्स टू द स्मॉल कैप स्पेस yeah so uh, coming to uh, the pgm first uh, like again uh, pgm actually uh, they had a uh, heavy cash exposure uh, in the fund uh, in feb march period and what happened in uh, march onwards to september there was a huge rally we know and in the small cap funds delivered around you know close to around 25 30% absolute return and the fund was having maybe close to about 15 20% cash holding so that's one reason why the you know fund underperformed and one two sector calls they took didn't also play out uh, secondly the sundaram small cap fund has been actually a consistent uh, laggard and has underperformed even the benchmark uh, small cap index you know on a one year three year five year uh, time frame it has always been even below the benchmark so these two funds unfortunately have not done you know well so i would suggest maybe they can uh, look at uh, maybe uh, stopping the sip in you know both the funds and consider uh, uh, you know another small cap fund if she is a aggressive investor she can you know even consider like a quant small cap fund uh, quant actually uh, has been one of the most fastest growing uh, you know fund houses as far as equity fund management is concerned so uh, in fact this small cap fund uh, if i'm not mistaken has a you know it was a 100 crore fund about 3 3 3 years back and the fund aum has grown to close to 9000 crores now and they have been uh, you know delivering good return but obviously uh, there is a high portfolio turnover ratio over there so the fund manager usually you know churns the stocks quite a bit if they are okay with the uh, if she is okay with a little bit aggressive fund she can look at a quant uh, small cap fund or she can even consider a kotak small cap fund which uh, has done you know consistently even well. okay that is very helpful you know considering that the funds that she is holding have not done so well these are some other options that you can look at so you can get out of what you are holding and reroute your money into these funds gaurav uh, it's been very interesting to get your take on all of these queries that have come in and we have lots more but we have to take a quick two minute break before that so we're just going to slip into a break we'll come back and finish up with all of the queries that have come through Welcome back to MF Corner. We still have with us Gaurav Gupta of GCube Investments to answer all of your queries this afternoon. Let's get to the next next query. Then we have Krishna who writes to us from Pune. He's been investing around fifty thousand rupees per month in funds such as Axis Nifty Hundred Index, Mirai Asset Emerging Blue Chip Fund, Parag Parik Flexi Cap Fund, and Quant Mid Cap, amongst other funds. He says his investment horizon is around fifteen years, and his goal is to accumulate a decent corpus. for his retirement uh, so gorov over to you do you think that this is a good bunch of funds uh, to hold on to for the next 15 years would generate enough income for him to retire comfortably his his fund selection definitely is good except you know barring maybe one or two changes that i would you know recommend for him uh as, as far as his retirement corpus is concerned i would say that you know if you're looking at about 15 years at about a 15% compounding it'll work out to about 3 crore rupees and at 12% it will work out to about 2.3 3 crore rupees so i would suggest that also uh, you know he can save more money the mutual funds have a sip uh, you know uh, step up or top up facility where you can increase the amount by maybe uh, 5 to 10% yearly so if, you know he opts for a sip top up facility you know his corpus can grow as high as 5 crores uh maybe at 15% uh, you know and close to about 4 crores at uh, you know 12% with the uh, step up facility at 10% coming to his uh, you know fund selection uh, he i saw he's having one mirai asset tax saver fund uh, 
So if he's, uh, you know, uh, looking at a tax saving perspective under Section 80C, uh, then maybe it makes sense investing in a tax saver fund. Otherwise, I would uh, suggest he goes for either multi-cap or a diversified equity fund like a SBI contra fund instead of the, you know, tax saver fund because the tax saver fund has a three-year lock-in uh, for every investment you do. So if he's not using it, you know, for a tax of, uh, saving per perspective, so I don't think it would make sense to, you know, specially select that tax saving, you know, uh, mutual fund. And coming to the small cap funds, uh, instead of Canada, I would suggest you can maybe uh, uh, look at a, a, a Nippon small cap fund. Okay, got that. Gaurav, it's been lovely having you on the show. So thank you for taking out the time and answering all of these individual queries that have come in. We're unfortunately completely out of time. We've lost more queries, but we'll probably have you on another time to get to those as well. With that, it is a wrap on this edition of MF Corner. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any queries, you can email us and we will keep taking these up with our experts. Stay tuned. Closing bell comes up next for what promises to be an eventful last hour of trade.